Hi guys, Mulos here. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I use the Spark by Absa app. It's an app that I've actually come to love using. I didn't like it at first, but it's actually a great app and I use it quite a bit. So it's a mini tutorial and review of the app. If I come here to customer account, this is going to show my transacting on this app. And as you can see here, I use this app quite a bit. I actually use it quite a lot. I've, uh, from the time I started using it, I've done a couple dozen transactions and and I'm still doing more and more almost on a daily basis. So let's just scroll down. I'll show you the first transaction I did. And as you can see, all the transactions I do, they are really, really a lot. As you can see, I do so many transactions on this app. I'm just looking for the first transaction I did, which was around uh, 10th April, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so this was my first transaction from 10th April 2022 to date. Today is uh, 2nd July 2022. I've done a couple of dozen transactions and more I'll be doing all the time. So now back to the overview of this app. If you see here on the top left, this is the menu icon. Or menu button if you click it it's going to show you your your transact your your menu option so you've got home which you take it to the home screen you've got bank accounts and cards where you're going to add bank accounts and cards as well we'll come to that because i need to add a card you can also request payments from other spark users you can receive qr payments using the qr code and camera you can get your mini statements invite a friend you can use my referral code if you are getting a spark app you can check out offers from Appsa and Spark, uh, change or check your settings, view the facts, customer support, and the logout. Now, if we go to facts, the frequently asked questions, you see here that there's a bit of this information. And uh, one of the things which is not there are transaction limits. It's one of the things I don't like. It's really, really difficult to get information on transaction limits. And I've, how, how I know the transaction limits, it's through heavy usage of this app and trial and error. That's how I know what works and what doesn't work in terms of transaction limits. I hope they can add the transaction limits to their frequently asked questions. Now, if you look here on the send money, this is one which has confused quite a few people. Uh, one person who asked me to review the Spark app, uh, she had gone to send money and assumed that you cannot send to mobile money or bank accounts because she went to the send money option. So if you click on send money, it's got uh, beneficiaries and make a new transfer. If you click on make a new transfer, you see here that it only allows you to send to other Spark users. It doesn't have uh, mobile money or bank account. So you could be mistaken to believe that uh, that's you can't send to mobile money or bank under this send money option so send money is only to other spark users if you come here to pay bills you'll see here that i have a saved beneficiary this is my mtn money number but if you come here to pay a new biller and if you click the drop down arrow on uh, biller you'll see here that there's zesco prepaid multi choice airtel, airtel nfs uh, chambishi water fly emirates kafubu water nrfa etol toyota zambia multi choice mtn money movie tv Topstar, University of Lusaka, uh, Mulonga Water, Northwestern Water, Natsave, Atom Money, Zamtel Money, Liquid, and Inkana Water. So all the mo so all the mobile money is found under pay bills, and uh, the fee for sending to mobile money is five kwacha fifty ngwe. There's a five kwacha commission and a fifty ngwe uh, SMS charge. So it's really really low cost way of sending money to mobile money now we're going to come to customer account where you see the deposit options and withdrawals but before i do that let me just come back here to the menu option and we're going to come here to bank accounts and cards we are so here you can add and link any apps bank account you can only link apps bank accounts here uh, you can send to non apps accounts but linking you can only link an apps account and on cards that's where it gets to shine you can see that there are so many cards around here. So I've linked my Zazu card, I've linked my Paysera card, I've linked my Stanbic card, FNB card, I've linked multiple cards. And uh, I'll show you how to link a card. You just simply click on the plus here. Uh, choose whether it's a bank account. Bank account, you can only link an APSA account. 
and it has to be the same number as your spark account number uh, linking bank card you need to put the name of uh, name on the card you need to put in the card number you need to put in the expiry date and you need to put in the cvv so once you've put in your name card number expiry date and cvv you can add the bank card so anyway, i'm just going to click here add bank card okay so the card is added and it's here this card ending 5471 so now if i go back and i come here to customer account i have the option to deposit or withdraw so we'll start first with a deposit if i click on deposit and if i click on the drop down arrow for deposit from i've got two options i can deposit from bank account or bank card now from bank account if i click on this uh, drop down arrow here from account the only option is my apsa bank account so it has to be an apsa account in your name and the phone number you use on the apsa mobile banking should be the same phone number you've used on the spark account so now i'm going to choose uh, deposit from i'm going to select uh, bank card i'm going to select which card so remember i've got a number of i've got a number of cards saved here uh, so i'm going to go with the mpesa card which is this one i'm going to put in the amount which is 1200 i'm going to continue i'm going to make a payment okay here's the otp i'm going to cancel okay i'm going to put in the otp after putting the otp i'll submit okay so it says uh, successful and uh, 1200 kwacha has been deducted from my mpesa virtual card and put into spark app so there you see it's instant i have moved money from kenya from my mpesa account to my zambian apsa spark by apsa app okay so now that i've deposited funds and i've got funds in the account how can i withdraw these funds so this is where the lack of information does come in and uh, present a few challenges if i were to go to buy uh, pay bills and i were to try to send to mtn money uh, let's just say i was trying to send an 8000 kwacha and continue the fee it's going to show a fee of five kwacha plus an sms fee of 15 gwe and if i actually do continue put in the pin it's going to be unsuccessful because the transaction amount is higher than the maximum possible amount of 5000 kwacha for the biller please try again so basically if you're sending via mobile money the maximum is 5000 kwacha at a go then on top of this there is a maximum daily transaction limit when you're sending to mobile money you only find it out after you're trying to move all the money from your spark app so if it's 5000 kwacha and below it's going to go it's going to be received instantly and it's really really low cost at 5 kwacha 15 gwe uh, so the maximum you can send in a day is between 5000 kwacha to 10000 kwacha i haven't gotten the exact amount because it's just been trial and error and um I'm still trying to find out what the maximum daily transaction limit is. Now, if you come back here and you go under customer account and you click on withdraw. So you see here under withdraw from wallet, I've got withdraw to bank account. So you can withdraw to your linked APSA account or you can withdraw to any bank account within Zambia. You've got ATM cash out where you can withdraw at any APSA ATM. And uh, here you can also save beneficiaries. So I did send to my Stanbic bank account before and uh, it's saved as a beneficiary so we'll start first with atm cash out there's a few things you need to know so if you click on atm cash out when you're sending to atm cash out you have to apply a little bit of common sense and be very very practical if zambian atms do not pay small notes most of the times so if you're going to try to withdraw an amount like 175 kwacha you will never be able to withdraw this on an atm because no atm will pay you the 25 kwacha so you only be able, try to use round figures and also try to use figures that you know atms pay out so usually the maximum atms can pay out is 2000 kwacha but you do have some atms that go as high as 6000 kwacha in some cases maybe even higher but majority of atms that you find the maximum is 2000 kwacha so if you are going to withdraw an amount like 5000 kwacha I recommend you do three cash outs. You do for 2000, 2000, and 1000. This way, you'll be able to save uh, yourself a lot of stress of having to run. I once tried to withdraw, I think it was a, a 4400. I had to run around various ATMs before I realized that no ATM was going to pay me because the maximum some ATMs pay is 4000 kwacha. 
then when uh, the cash out timed out it times out after about 30 minutes to an hour then you can withdraw another one when i reduced the amount to 4000 i discovered that the atm was only paying a maximum of 2000 kwacha so i again had to wait for the atm i mean for the cash out to time out so that i could withdraw uh, from 2000 2000 and the 1000 so if you are going to withdraw via atm cash out make sure that there are round figures and make sure that the amounts that you are reasonably certain and the apps are atm near you will be able to pay uh, otherwise it's a low cost method then uh, the other option withdraw to bank uh, this was my previous withdraw to bank um, so i did withdraw to stanvik successfully and i saved the account but if you click if you click here under withdraw to bank account then you click the drop down arrow you've got two options you can withdraw to your linked bank account or you can come to other bank account we'll start with other bank account so here this is where you are sending the funds via bank transfer so you can put anybody's uh, bank account so here under banks you can pick any zambian bank so all the zambian banks are here just zambian banks okay so here i'm uh, i've chosen other bank account i'm sending to myself echo bank woodlands branch uh, my account number, the amount 8,000 me. This is, I'm not actually sending, it's just a trial, I'll just show you. And I click on continue. So you see here that uh, it's going to tell you that uh, sending to Mr. Mulos, the charges, um, wallet to other bank SMS 15 way, and then the wallet to other bank fee is 100 kwacha. So what I have, what I have observed is that the spark to other bank transfer is about the same as a uh, mobile money withdrawal fee so uh, it's as low as two kwacha 15 way for the small amounts for the large amounts it will come to the maximum amount of 100 kwacha so this is something that i just thought i should mention okay so now withdrawing to a linked bank account i'll click the linked bank account then here i'm going to select and it brings down my apsa account so it only brings your apsa account that has the same phone number on the mobile banking as your spark account so this is the account i'm going to select it then the amount 8270 and uh, the reference is optional so through trial and error i always leave a five quarter 15 way because i don't seem to be able to withdraw uh, anything if i don't leave five quarter 15 way so i'm now going to click on continue okay so it brings me here uh, withdraw amount 8270 APSA account I'll click on withdraw I enter in my pin and I'll continue okay so it's done it says withdraw successful transaction ID is that uh, my withdrawal amount is that so from what I have seen through trial and error if you want to increase your transaction limits for withdrawal limits you are better off uh, withdrawing to bank account then if you want to withdraw to a non APSA bank account the fees would be significantly higher because they're basically mobile money withdrawal fees. So this is why I ended up reopening an APSA account because it's really, really convenient and beneficial to have an APSA account. You're able to withdraw from Spark app to your APSA account and it's free if it's going to an APSA account and it's also instant. So that's one of the reasons why I opened an APSA account. You don't need to have an APSA account if you want to use the Spark by APSA app. You can withdraw to mobile money. You can withdraw to any Zambian bank account in Zambia. Let me just say done. Then just refresh this screen. Okay, so I always leave a 5 kwacha 15 way because uh, when I try to remove the entire balance, it usually fails. So if you are withdrawing to APSA account, although there's no fee, it's uh, prudent to just leave maybe a 5 kwacha 15 way uh, for, uh, for the sake of so all in all i do enjoy using the spark by apsa app i use it quite a bit i still am critical about the lack of information available on uh, transaction limits uh, and the likes you i've just learned through trial and error through very heavy usage of the app i use it practically every day so that's why i've been able to see what works and what doesn't work but i think most people out there would not have the time or the inclination to try out and do the financial experimentation to see what limits actually work and not. So I'm hoping maybe APSA could put available online 
on their social medias or even on the Spark website what the transaction limits are so that people can make informed decisions before they start. Then I also hope they can share the information about the ATM cash outs, um, the best practice when doing ATM cash outs, what amounts people should be encouraged to withdraw rather than learning through trial and error that uh, you need to keep the figures round and uh, you need to keep it capped at certain amounts then also to show online what the cash out timeout uh, limit is like uh, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour or 45 minutes in case i do a wrong cash out and i want to wait for the funds to be refunded to my account i would like to know how long that would take so that in case uh, i accidentally do a cash out of a wrong amount and uh, i'm waiting for it to to be reversed i could go have a cup of coffee or do some window shopping and then uh, i would know how long it would take but otherwise this is one of my favorite uh, fintech apps available in zambia uh, i use it extremely a lot because i also have a lot of cards which it's not really practical to be withdrawing on uh, there's my zazu card there's uh, my pesera card my peonia card my Kenyan M-Pesa card, you know, so I have a lot of virtual cards as well as physical cards, which uh, just wouldn't make sense with drawing via the ATM. So the Spark by APSA app makes it really, really convenient for me to withdraw from or deposit funds via those cards into Spark, withdraw to my APSA account or mobile money. And uh, it saved me a lot of uh, work, energy and stress in accessing my funds but otherwise let me know in the comment section if you use the spark by apps app your thoughts and views on this and um, i do encourage you to get it if you are, if you are like me and uh, have the particular needs that i have of uh, some fintech services uh, this video is not sponsored thanks for watching guys mulos bye